little bit better. Great. So go ahead and find a seat, whatever that looks like for you, whether that's on your knees, one shin in front of the other. There's no right way to do so. And then go ahead and rest your hands either in your lap, one palm on top of the other, or both hands right on top of your thighs, just to feel a little bit more grounding. And then go ahead and feel your chest broaden as you inhale, maybe even start to drive your shoulder blades together as you breathe in, feel the front side of your body expand. And then just take a deep breath out, maybe even open up your mouth, separate your lips, let the breath pour out as you empty and you land. And do that one more time, take a deep breath in, think about expanding through the front as you inhale. Open up your mouth, ah, it's like a little sigh as you empty nice and slow. And then one last time, breathe all the way into the top, all the way out to the bottom. And then allow your eyes to close or just soften your gaze, maybe gazing down towards the ground to lessen your distraction. And we're not here too, too long in stillness, but just taking a moment to pause in your day where you may have been pulled in all different directions. Let this be this moment of pause where you just get to be in one place. whether it's for one round of breath or multiple rounds. Just know that you're exactly where you need to be in your day and all of those things that still need done, they will get done or they won't and that's okay. Give yourself a little bit of grace and also honor the fact that you made time in your day to pause. And in that spirit of like setting an intention, you'll hear me say that often, maybe you just think about one thing that you'd like to bring into your day or into your like physical body or your mind, something you'd like to cultivate a little bit more of. I like to think of like one word just to like come back to or to focus on. So that might be patience, grace, kindness, compassion, strength or courage, whatever it is, let it be personal to you. And just take a big breath in all the way to the top again. And a big breath out to get empty. And you don't have to think too much about how you'll bring in more of that. Just like keep that word in your mind. And know that this time on your mat is just for you and you can cultivate more of that intention. Just by breathing, by being, by thinking of that word. There's the saying of like, what you focus on, you fortify. Or where your awareness goes, your energy flows. I like to come back to that often, especially in days where I feel stuck. <laughs> So just with keeping that, mind, that word in mind, go ahead and just slowly start to find any movement that feels good here, whether it's in the neck, rolling the head side to side, rolling the shoulders up and back. Take any movement that allows more freedom and creates more space. <clears throat> and then meet me in all fours here, tabletop pose, your hands and your knees. 
And if you like that pillow or blanket underneath your knees, go ahead and take it. And then once your hands land nice and firmly underneath your shoulder, go ahead and start to make like a C curve in your spine, both right and left. So think your right ribs moving over to the right. And then like just popping your left hip over to the left, maybe left ear towards your left shoulder. And then you switch. So left ribs over to the left, right ear to right shoulder, right hip to the right. And then do that a few times. See if you can start to match movement with breath. So maybe inhaling to the right, exhaling to the left. Take about three full rounds. Breathing in and out through your nose if you can. And then start to just walk your hands slowly up your thighs. You're going to rise up onto your knees here. Now start to reach your hands all the way up. Take a deep breath in. Right hand to your left wrist. Lean over to the right to get a little bit of side body stretch. And then you'll just come back up through center, switch left hand to your right wrist, lean over to the left. Now it's back up through center. Take one more breath in, hook the thumbs together overhead. Take the elbows wide and lift your chest towards your thumbs. And then slowly bring your hands to the ground, downward facing dog. You'll tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back. Now you can pedal out your feet here if that feels good. Maybe you take your feet a little wider and rock the hips side to side. Take a breath in right here. I want you to rise up to your toes. And then as you exhale, start to bend your knees. Look towards the top of your mat. Maybe you take two big steps. Maybe you take 10 steps. But start to bring your feet all the way up towards the top of your mat. I like to use blocks, especially now. But once you land there, just take your feet nice and wide and then start to rock your hips side to side. So just getting a little bit more space into the hips. You can bend the knees, of course, if that feels better. And then take your hands to your thighs here. And I want you to reach your heart forward, so think. Halfway lift, so press your hands into your thighs. And as you do that, your heart goes further forward. Take a big breath in. And then bring your hands to your hips, press down through your feet and stand all the way up. Take your arms down along your sides and spread your fingers wide. Shrug your shoulders as you breathe in. Thinking about expanding through the front. And then breathe out, let them fall down and back. Maybe open up the mouth. Do that again. Breathe all the way in. Drive the shoulders up. And then exhale back and down. Maybe open the mouth. Start to reach your hands out and up. Take a big breath in. Rise up. And then sit back into chair pose right away. Bend your knees. And see if you can at the same time lift your heart. So maybe even hook the thumbs like you did before. Take the elbows wide, think like the letter O around your head. Yeah, now lift your chest maybe up towards your thumbs. Yes, and then exhale, fold forward, bow the chest down. Take your halfway lift again, either hands to your thighs or your shins. And then you'll plant your hands down. Please step back with your left foot, a big, big, big step back. Drop your left knee down. Reach your hands up and overhead into a lunge. Your first one, big breath in. And then right away, bend the elbows wide like goalposts, just like this. Now use your inhale to send your forearms, your elbows back. Think about squeezing the shoulder blades together, lifting the chest. And then exhale to bring the forearms together in front of your face. Do that one more time. Inhale, open up through the shoulders, the chest. And then exhale, drive the forearms together. Now use your next inhale to reach your hands up and overhead. Big breath in. And then bring your hands down. We're going to start to pull your hands.
hips back. Lengthen your right leg and pick your right toes up off the ground. We call this like a half split, right? Now just take one breath in to reach your heart forward. And then exhale, stay here or fold or bow the chest down. Yeah, you can even soften that right knee. Now look forward, start to crawl back into that lunge. Hands frame your foot, tuck the back toes and lift that knee off the earth. Spin the left heel down, rise up to warrior two. So now you face the long edge of your mat. Your right knee stacks right on top of the ankle. The fingers spread wide. And then here, reverse your warrior. Right hand will reach up towards the sky. Start to straighten your right leg. And heel toe your back foot just a little bit closer. So you shorten your stance. Take one breath in right here. Left hand comes to your right wrist. And then maybe lean to the left, just a little bit more. Start to reach your right hand forward towards the front of your mat. Find triangle pose. Your right hand can come to your shin, to your thigh. If you have a block, maybe it lands on top of that. And then maybe reach your left hand up towards the sky. So this is your triangle pose. Take a big breath in, bigger breath out. Then you'll rise all the way back up. Turn your right toes to face the side of your mat so your feet are parallel to each other. Reach your hands up to the sky, take a big breath in, hands come together. Pull them through your heart as you fold forward into that wide stance, drop your head. Take your halfway lift right here, bigger breath in to lengthen. And then exhale to fold, rebow the chest. Maybe shake the head, yes and no. Bend the knees if that feels better. Maybe rock the hips side to side. Creating that sense of movement, that, that sense of space. Now find your halfway lift again. Bigger inhale, lengthen. Bring your hands, catch your hips. Stand all the way up. Awesome. Sweep your arms out and up. Take a big breath in. You'll rise. Now it's back to warrior two. Bend your right knee. Turn your right toes forward. And then your arms go long. Now start to wiggle your left fingertips. Just like notice them where they are in space. You're going to swing them down in front of you. You're going to reach them towards the front of your mat. And then start to pick your back heel up off the ground. Come into a high lunge. So you square your shoulders off to the front. You can soften that back knee. Now, like you did before, reach your hands high on the inhale. As you exhale, bend your elbows wide like those goalposts. Take a breath in to squeeze your shoulder blades together, open through the chest. And then your exhale brings your forearms together in front of your face. Just one more like that. Inhale, open up through the front. And then exhale, draw the forearms together. Now stay with me. Reach your hands all the way up as you inhale. We need to bring them to your heart center. As you put weight into that front foot, start to stand up and bring your left knee hip height. So just creating this 90 degree angle with your left leg. Find that steady point in front of you where your gaze lands. Take a breath in to reach your hands high. And then your right hand, bring it to your left knee. Reach your left hand behind you. A little bit of a twist. So you might fall out of it, that's okay. If it feels okay, you stay. Take a big breath in, stand up taller. Bigger breath out. Now come back to face the front. Cross your left ankle in front of the right. So your ankles are crossed. Sweep your arms out and out, take a big breath in. Right hand to your left wrist, lean over to the right. So now the whole right side of your body after that twist gets to rinse all out. Come back up through center. 
unravel the legs. Stamp your feet, hips with distance, arms down along your sides, palms forward, shrug your shoulders, breathe in. Open your mouth, allow them to fall. Do that one more time again. Rise with the shoulders, the breath, and then exhale, open the mouth, clear it out. Sweep the arms out and up again, take a big breath in. Sit back into chair pose, bend your knees. Hook your thumbs, create that letter O with the arms, elbows wide. Maybe lift the chest a little bit higher, take one more inhale. And then exhale to fold forward, bowing the chest. Halfway lift, again, reach chest forward, maybe hands to shins or blocks. And then exhale, plant your hands, big step back with the right foot this time. Drop the right knee down. Sweep the arms up and overhead into that lunge. And then once you're there, bend the elbows wide. You know it. Take a breath in, send your elbows back, chest forward. And then exhale, bring the forearms together in front of your face. One more like that with breath. Inhale, open the heart. Exhale, draw the forearms together. Now keep the hands together, reach them up and overhead. Bring them down to frame your foot. Pull your hips back into that half split. So like I said before, your left knee does not have to straighten. It can be bent. We're just lengthening the back of the leg, the hamstrings. Take one breath in right here. Stay here or fold, bow the chest forward. And then coming back into that lunge, bending through the left knee. Tuck your back toes, lift your right knee up, spin that heel down. It's your warrior two. You'll rise up and face the right side of your mat. Now reverse your warrior. Reach your left fingertips up to the sky. Straighten your left leg. Maybe heel toe that back foot a little closer for support. Right hand to your left wrist. Lean over to the right. Keeping that space, reach your left hand forward. Triangle pose, either to your shin, your block, then reach your top hand up. Can you open your chest up towards the sky a little bit more? Take one more breath in. Big breath out. Use your inhale to stand back up. Exhale to parallel the feet, face the long edge of your mat. Hands go up and overhead as you inhale. Pull them through your heart as you fold forward, bow the chest. Drop the hands down, halfway lift, bigger inhale. And exhale, fold, maybe even soften the knees if that feels good, or rock the hips side to side. Doing that for three. Creating that space, two. Last one. Now it's your halfway lift again. Press through your feet, hands catch your hips. Stand all the way up. Sweep the arms out and up. Take a bigger inhale to rise. Back to warrior two. Face the front of your mat. Your left toes point forward. Now wiggle your right fingertips this time. You're going to sweep them down in front of you. Start to reach them forward as you pick that back heel up and you come into a lunge. Now bend the elbows nice and wide. Soften your back knee. Take a breath in to open through the chest. And then exhale, bring the forearms together in front of your face. One more like that, really make it big. Last one, inhale, open up. Exhale, draw it in. Now press through the four corners of that left foot, hands to your heart. As you stand up, bring that right knee just in line with your right hip, creating that 90 degree angle. Maybe roll the ankle, reach the hands up, take a big inhale. Now it's left hand outside the right knee, reach your right hand behind you. You're not here long, take a big breath in, big breath out, and then face the front, cross your right ankle in front of the left, 
Really stamp your feet. You can soften through the knees if that feels okay. Sweep the arms out and up. Take a big inhale. Left hand to your right wrist. Lean to your left. So it's like this nice assist after that twist. You'll rise up. Unravel the legs, plant the feet, arms down along your sides, palms forward, take a breath in, shrug your shoulders. Open your mouth, clear it out. One more like that, bigger inhale, fill up. Open your mouth, empty. Now one last time here, sweep the arms out and up, rise, take a big inhale. Exhale to sit back in the chair pose. One breath in to lift the heart, maybe hook the thumbs if you wish. And then exhale to fold forward, bow the chest down. Halfway lift, big breath in to lengthen. This time plant both hands and step both feet back, making your way to a plank pose. So knees on or off the mat, your choice. Take one breath in right here. Use your exhale to lower all the way down to your belly so you're on the earth. So I'm gonna come to hands and knees, of course, but if you're on your belly, your legs are long behind you. Use your inhale to lift your heart, find cobra pose or upward facing dog. If you're on your knees, it's cow pose. And then your exhale, you return to the earth or come to neutral spine. One more like that, inhale, lifting the chest up, take a big breath in. And then exhale, return to the earth or back to neutral. Slowly start to find your child's pose. Bring your feet together, your big toes together if that feels good. Your seat back towards your heels. Knees as wide as they need to be. And then your forehead can rest on the earth or rest on your forearm. Stay here just for three. Full rounds here. Two. Last one. You'll slowly make your way back up to hands and knees, tabletop pose. And then return to that lateral movement side to side. So right ribs to the right, creating that C curve. Left ribs to the left. And so your whole spine, even your tail and the crown of your head become part of that movement, both right and left. Take about three rounds on your own. So inhaling to one side, exhaling to another. You can add any movement along the way. Maybe you rock in a circle one direction and then the other. Remember, it's about what it feels like rather than what it looks like. Take what you need and then just meet me in a seat. Swinging your legs around in front of you. Once you're there, take the soles of your feet together. You can glide your heels further away for more space in the hips and in the low back. If you want a little more, the heels can draw towards, but sit upright through the spine. And take your big inhale to find that length all the way through the crown of your head. And then exhale, if you wish, you might stay or fold forward and then start to drop your head. So it's not about how low you go, of course, but where in your body can you create a little bit more space? And then think about filling that space with breath. You're here for three. Last two. Chest broadens, last one. And then you'll slowly come up to a straight spine. 
Keep your left knee bent. Send your right leg long. So the sole of your left foot can come to your inner thigh or to your calf, your choice. Take a breath in to reach your hands up. I want you to start to turn your right ribs. Think about turning your right ribs towards your right toes. So you're just turning your torso over to the left a little. And then you'll just lean over towards your right foot. And then think about reaching through your left fingertips. It's not about being able to touch your toes. It's more about how much length you can create through that left side. Take one more breath in right here. And start to come up and drop your left hand behind you. Start to pick your seat up and your right leg will stay long as you stamp that foot. And now you get to counter that stretch. Reach your right hand away from your right foot. And then just sit right back down. And then you'll switch sides. Left leg long. Sole of your right foot comes to your inner thigh, your calf, your choice. And then you sit up tall with the arm. And this time you turn your torso over to the right and lean towards your left toes. Yeah, maybe your left hand drops down to the ground. And then you spin your chest up a little more so you can reach through your right fingertips. Take one more big breath in. Maybe you feel that length in your low back on the side. And then rise up. Drop your right hand behind your seat. Pick your seat up. And now you get to reach through your left fingertips. And then you sit back down. Both legs long in front of you. Reach your hands forward. Make sure you have enough space behind you. Now, as you start to point your toes forward, we're going to do something a little different. One more heart opener here. Finding fish pose. So you're going to start to drop your hands behind you. They might come underneath your seat. They might stay a little bit wider. Depends on how wide your shoulders are. You'll slowly start to drop down onto your forearms, onto your elbows, right underneath your shoulders. Now, as you point your toes forward, start to lift your chest up towards the sky. Like someone was pulling your chest up and then maybe let your head drop back. So this is fish pose or matsyasana. Take one big breath in right here. Fill all the way up through the front. Maybe even stick out your tongue as you open your mouth. One more like that. Big breath in. Stick out your tongue. And then slowly start to make your way all the way onto your back. Bend your knees and plant your feet. One last time here to take your arms like goalposts, palms face up towards the sky. Feel your low back press into the earth, especially after that back bend. Take a breath in, fill up. Breathe all the way out. Feel your navel slightly draw down towards the ground. And then a little bit of a twist here. So you'll take an inhale. On your exhale, both knees just fall over to the right, just to your degree. They don't have to come towards the ground, of course. And then use your inhale to pick them back up through center. Slowly let them fall over to the left as you breathe out. And then coming back through center, breathe in. Start to send your knees towards your armpits or just like hug them in on either side of your belly and maybe a little rock side to side here or you stay still. Take one more breath in like you were hugging your knees in like a well-deserved hug. And then as you exhale, send your legs long towards the ground. Arms down along your side. Pause here before you find complete stillness, complete rest. I want you to start to make fists with your hands and then scrunch up your toes. Close your eyes and even scrunch up your face. I can't see you, so it doesn't matter what it looks like. 
Yeah, engage all of those muscles, your legs, your belly, your arms. Take your biggest inhale yet. And then let it all go on your exhale. Stay here in this final resting shape, your Shavasana. Arguably the most important pose that we take on our mat. So remember that this practice, this physical practice of yoga it's not about mastering balance, flexibility, touching your toes, or looking a certain way in a pose. But it's about tapping into what it can feel like, how you can create space, freedom in the breath, in the body, maybe even in the mind. So right here, just take that breath in again and just think about the front of your body expanding as you inhale. Using your exhale to sink into the ground. Like letting whatever is underneath you support you fully. Notice where your mind wants to wander to. That's okay, just observe it. Gently invite it back. Embrace that sense of quiet. This moment of pause. Nothing to do, nothing to fix or even change right here. Can you find freedom in just that? Again, notice your next inhale. Can it be just a little bit bigger than the last? And start to let the breath grow enough to just send a little bit more movement and energy to your fingers all the way down to your toes, slow, subtle movements there. Maybe in your wrists, in your ankles, rocking your head side to side. And just begin to bend your knees, roll to the side of your choice. And see if you can keep your eyes heavy to lessen the distraction 
as you rise up to a seat. Once you are there, just start to bring your hands together right in front of your chest. Come back to that word, maybe that you chose at the top of class. And if you didn't choose one, that's okay. Maybe it's a little bit clearer to you now what you'd like to bring in a little bit more of or focus on or fortify. Where you'd like your attention, your energy to go. Even once you step off your mat. With that in mind, take a big breath in. Long breath out. And take your thumbs up to the center of your forehead. And just remembering that this practice is a time to be kind to yourself. So you can then share that kindness in your own way with those around you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me, as always. Happy Monday. <laughs>